Hey everybody! So today I'm going to be making a video on um, painting the modeling layer for your baby. Um, I've had a question about like what consistency to make and what kind of sponge and stuff to use. So I'm just going to go over what I do for modeling. Um, different people do different things and different colors and everything so this is just what I do and hopefully it will help you guys so let's see the first I'll show you my sponges so these sponges are like pretty old like probably like five years old and um, I love these sponges and I just use them over and over and over again these sponges are like they look yellow like compared to this one like they look yellow I'm not sure what they're made out of but they're kind of feel like more like um bl uh, beauty blenders kind of like they kind of have like m they're more squishy they don't feel like a like a soft sponge they're like kind of feel like this silicone slash um cosmetic wedge you know kind of like a beauty blender where it's like where you it's like if you push down it holds it's like shape I guess whereas this one if you push down you can pinch it all the way because it's very soft like it has more holes air holes in it I would how would I explain it this is more dense a dense sponge so um when you like push this down it doesn't go all the way in because it's more dense so that being said, I use more dense sponges to do the modeling layers because a dense sponge, uh, when you put the paint on here, it stays at the end and then you'll push it onto the vinyl. And when you have a sponge that has more holes, I don't know if you can see that, but do you see, you can kind of see like the, it's porous, it has holes in it. And when you have like a more, um, not as dense, dense sponge, when you put the paint on here, it soaks into it, um, and so when you push it on, it doesn't have, like, the paint right here. It has the paint, like, a little bit on the, the, I don't know, bottom of it, I guess. A little bit on the bottom of it, but it's soaked in, so you have to, like, push super hard, and this is more of, like, my blending, like, I blend out um, different layers with this. So this is more like a stamp, so it's pretty much... That's like the concept is like a stamp. You're stamping on that and then you're moving, stamping, and just doing a stamp all over. So you want something more firm. So hopefully that makes sense. I try to explain things a lot. So hopefully I'm not talking too much in this video, but um, I just want you to understand the different kind of sponges. So um, like this one, if you look close up, it doesn't have that many holes. Like, it's just really dense. This one, as you guys saw, you can see all the little air holes in it. So this, these ones are good for, like, blending layers of paint. These are good for modeling. So, after explaining that forever, um, I'm going to show you the different paint. So this is already mixed paint that I have for my red modeling layers. I've already done um, some purple and blue undertone modeling layers on him so after I do that then I do the red modeling layer so that's what I'm going to be doing next um I have different colors as you can see this one is more like pink um more pinkish red um and this one uh it's leaking all over <laughs> and this one is more like um a brick kind of red and now it's on my fingers because the lid wasn't tight um, let me grab a towel okay so for this one I it depends what you're kind of going for and what you want to do so I will probably be doing more of like the brick colored one not really the pink the pinkish more red I kind of use um, for either adding adding a second layer of modeling if it's like a newborn baby but because this baby is pretty big I'm just gonna do one um, thick layer um, of modeling with um, bigger holes so as you can see I have two different sponges this has bigger modeling holes and this one has um, more lots lots more and smaller holes so I usually do this as my first 
um, layer all over. And then um, if I want different depth and different uh, colors of modeling, then I'll do a layer of this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this sponge. And so let's get a brush, mix it up here. Um, I'm going to be adding more paint thinner and more paint into it because he's a big baby and I don't think I'll have enough. So now, right now you can see that it's really watery. I'll try to zoom in on here. So it's like really watery. You can kind of see the, like through it. I'm trying to get, a, I don't, it, the red, <laughs> the jar is red. So, um, it, you can't really see from the edges, but, um, here you go. If I push it up, it's just like super, super watery. Um, that's because I just add a lot of paint thinner into it. So this color that I have, let me see, it is the blush and, um, is it the blush? I don't know. It's like the pre-mixed from Bountiful Baby. It's like, I think, yeah, the blushing color. So I'm just dipping a little bit in. As you can see, like, it's just a tiny bit on my brush. And then I go and mix it in really well. Mix, 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 mix. And I just keep doing that until I get the consistency I want. So I want it pretty thick. Um, or like... Um opaque I should say I don't want it thick if you have thick paint you don't want to put any thick paint on your baby like you don't want to go from this jar get the thick paint and put it on your baby because that will be way 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 too dark so I want it more like opaque not translucent 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 means you can see through it opaque is more like dense like water you can't see through so that's kind of like the consistency I'm going for um, and then once I have it mixed up pretty good, making sure there's no lumps in it, I'm going to test it on, um, this paper towel to see how dark it is. And you can see, like, the uh, paint thinner soaks into it and then, like, the pigment is left. And so it looks pretty, pretty good. Um, let me think here. I'll probably just do a little bit more. So now you can see it is darker. It is still pretty thin. So it moves like water, but it's more of like skim milk. So um, it's a little bit more thick. So it's like skim milk instead of like water. If it's like 2% milk, like the thick milk, you don't want it like you want it in between that and like skim milk. It depends how vibrant you want your modeling. So I'm gonna be mixing those up and then I always try it out. Sorry about that. On one piece before I go, okay, where's my sponge? Along, so how I do modeling is mix, mix, mix the paint. Then I take my paintbrush and I just paint the sponge just like you're doing um, a stamp. So I want to get a lot on there and then I squish it like this because I'm OCD and I want the paint to be like um, evenly distributed. And then I dab it off once. Actually, I'm going to test how vibrant it is. Okay, so yeah, that is pretty vibrant. So I might even have to go down a little bit, um, but I'm going to test it on the vinyl to see, but I might have to add more paint thinner. So um, I used up all that paint on there, so I'm just going to go and apply some more and then I'm gonna dab once on the paper towel and then I dab the rest onto the vinyl so I'm gonna start with the leg and I'm gonna start way up here because this is gonna have clothes on it most of the time so if I mess up really bad and I can't undo it for some reason then you won't really see it so I'm just going to push down and pull up so actually that looks pretty good so it actually might need to be thicker, so I'm just gonna push down pretty hard and pull up again. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit darker. 
and because I want this is probably the only modeling layer I'm going to be doing on him so I want it to be pretty dark because it's going to be covered up by a lot of different layers of like skin color and yellow washes and stuff like that and so um, I want it pretty vibrant so you can see it through the other ones whereas like other babies I might just I might be doing a lot of modeling layers so I want it pretty thin but this one I want it pretty thick so stir it up again apply it to my sponge dab it off once and then I'm going to see okay so that one as you can see is more pigmented which that's probably like the perfect um amount of modeling for me because I'm going to be putting other layers on top so if it's a little bit dark it's okay also once I go all over the leg once it has dried completely like as you can see it's shiny once you can't see any shininess that means it's dry as you can see over here you can see it's a little bit um wet still but over here it's definitely wet because I just put it on so once it's like dry all the way it's slightly shiny still so once it's matte you can't see any shine that means it's dry and then once it's dry you can take a different sponge or I just use the back of this and I gently just I just set it down I don't push at all I set it down and I can wipe away just very lightly like this once once it, once the modeling is dry then I can wipe like this and it blends it in a little bit so it doesn't look like somebody put a print on there you know and just like left it there and now there's like you know just like somebody drew a on a marker with it you know it looks like more blended in if you want to do that after if you let it dry and then you realized it was too dark you can just slightly blend it in like by just rubbing a sponge all over it very lightly it blends it in just the right amount so it looks um like realistic and blended in and like natural so that being said i hope you guys can see the consistency that i've done so the biggest thing is having a sponge that is like dense and will leave the paint on there once it um, is like applied and doesn't soak into the sponge. So I just go dab, gently pull up, dab, pull up, just like you're stamping on a stamp. And I like turn my sponge put it down, turn my sponge, put it down so I don't have the same exact pattern everywhere. And then um, once you see the paint is running out, I just push down a little bit harder than normal. So the modeling is as dark as the other places. But I mean, it's wet, so it's kind of shiny, so you can't... I'm sorry that there's a reflection or whatever, but... Um, yeah, as you can see, that's it's not as vibrant as it is in person. On camera, it looks more, like, dark. But in person, it's, like, the right amount. It's hard to tell on pictures. So hopefully you guys can see um, the consistency it is. So once it dries, it will be more rigid. It won't, it won't look as, like, smooth. The pigment will be like more like just stuck right there and then the like the like um what's it called like the softer like not as dark pigment will kind of like dry up with the paint thinner so then it will just be like more rigid so then that's when I go over just lightly with the sponge and just wipe a little bit just to like blend it in just a little bit you don't have to do that um, I probably won't do it with him just because I'm going to be putting other layers on top of it. And so after a while, it'll look like blended in and it'll be fine. It'll be fine if it's like rigid. But um, I'll show you the consistency one last time. So if I let the paint sit, you can see it's like stuck to the bottom. So you always want to mix before you put more paint onto your sponge. So this is more like milk consistency this is definitely milk consistency um hopefully you can see how thick it is but um that's how dark i want it and then i'll put it on the paper towel here um 
compared to the other one we did. So that's how dark it is. A little bit darker than that. But anyways, the camera is going to be hitting 15 minutes, so I'll have to go. Um, I hope this helped you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know if you guys have any other questions. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.